Welcome to Seven Stars. Um, tonight was your first game representing them. What were your original thoughts when you kind of like joined the team? Um, a bit apprehensive because I've not played at this level for about eight years, so a little bit daunting, but um, had a lovely conversation with Pam. Um, she told me what she wanted me to do in terms of a job for the team. Um, I followed Seven Stars all season um, and it's just the consistency. They've got the talent, they've got the calibre of athletes to be able to win this Super League. Um, it's just a real pleasure to be part of that. I just hope I can contribute to that over the next few games. Um, tonight, I wasn't sure if I was going to get on court, so it was a really, real nice um, honour to represent the Stars tonight for the first time in my debut. Um, just hope we can take it forward and win the next two games. Yeah, and how do you feel when you came onto the court? Did the players welcome you on, boost you up, or how did you kind of feel? Yeah, I mean, I only turned up on Wednesday. That was my first training session with the girls, so I didn't really even know half of their names. So tonight, when I walked into the changing room, they were so welcoming, and it's just a real family. Um, it's a real pleasure to just turn up and, and be welcomed by such a lovely group of girls. And whether I'm on the court or on the bench, I just feel like they're all giving me the information I need as a newcomer coming in. I don't necessarily know what all those set plays are. I've missed the whole season, but I just felt like tonight they were all willing. 100% give me all the information I need on the court and off the court. I can't ask for more than that. Nice. Um, and you said you're a bit apprehensive, obviously, coming into this environment so late in the season. Did you find that quite, quite a pressured situation? Is that why you're apprehensive? Or Yeah, I mean, I come from an indoor net, so slightly different game for this. So I haven't played at this level, like I say, on this size court for a long time. So that was really where the apprehension came from. And also not wanting to let Pam down. Pam and I go back a long way from the Team Bath franchise. Um, and so it's more about just going out and doing a job and just doing it well and, and trying to do the, the franchise proud really because coming in so late on you're not quite sure that, like I say what all those set plays are going to be yeah. so it is just about doing the job and hopefully we did that tonight That was good and like you said with the franchise um, we had a big crowd here tonight coming to show their support for the Seven Stars how do you feel they kind of interacted with you guys when you're on the court and off the court? They are a you couldn't win these games without the home crowd it's just just behind you 100% and when you think you can't get that ball or you're a little bit tired they just push you 100% more than you, know, you run out of adrenaline but they just push you that bit more um, and you can just turn over ball where perhaps on other occasions you just wouldn't be able to do that so uh, you can never really take the crowd for granted um, they were brilliant tonight and they definitely helped us to the win. That's cool and you've got two games left of the season obviously it's so late in the season now is there anything that you specifically want to work on going into these last two games? Yeah, I think just really getting to know um, the squad a little bit better in terms of cementing the feeding into the circle. I've never kind of worked with Ellie before, um, so a bit apprehensive on perhaps giving a first time ball where I've normally just put it in. Um, so just finding my feet a little bit, looking at the set plays, centre passes, back lines, those kind of things, just familiarising myself with the, the tactical and technical sides of the game really. Thank you, I'm well played this evening. Thank you very much.